Mad Max coming to you live from Closeout Bats, and today I am talking about ways to break in a glove. Here at Closeout Bats, we have a service here that is going to be called the Mad Max Break-In Service. So we started this last year of summer, going into 2019, and uh, we've had a lot of success with it. A lot of people have liked it. A lot of people have been uh, very satisfied with it. I just want to talk about what we do, clear the air about what we actually do to the glove. So what we do to the glove is... Uh, we start with a process where I will, I'm the one that's actually breaking it myself. So what you'll have here is I'll show you, I'm going to have a trusted mat that I lay the glove on. So that's going to be a nice mat. And then I will have this mallet. I have some rubber bands as well. Maybe I'll use even a weight too. Uh, but what I do is I will start with the glove inside out and I'm just manipulating that leather um, where I'm just going to ultimately pound the pocket a little bit. I'm going to hit the breaking points on the side as well. Um, make sure it closes in a natural way and use my hands to obviously wrestle with that leather like this. This is about a process that's going to take a couple sittings. So if you order it on the website on like a Monday, it wouldn't ship ultimately till like Wednesday. And if you're in, you know, a local state or New Jersey, New York area, then you're getting it the next day. So it is about a one to two day process. We're breaking in that glove, uh, making sure it's getting to you where you'll be able to actually use it for like a practice setting. Um, I don't want to promise that a game setting, but ultimately if you order a glove, um, and, and you want to use it for like practice and start warming up with it. Absolutely. I, that's exactly how you're going to get it. And then you just ultimately will take the last, you know, 10 to 15% right there. And, uh, that's what we're going to do to the glove. I don't, I do want to talk about what we don't do to the glove. There's a lot of people out there that, uh, you know, a lot of sporting goods stores out there uh, nationwide will use a steaming me method. And it absolutely, it hurts my heart to even hear something like that. Why would you steam a glove? I want to show exhibit A of uh, a customer that actually brought in this glove and said they don't know what happened to their glove. It, it's completely ruined. When I tell you these these laces are as hard as like, I, Roy said they're like cat nails. So they're like cat nails is what I would call it. I mean, I couldn't even get, it's I couldn't even get my hand in the glove if I wanted to, you'll see. Like that's, that's how far I'm getting the glove right there. I mean, that's the glove is completely ruined. It was a glove that was a $260 glove that is literally almost garbage. And a lot of people want to do this. A lot of stores do it because it's a quick, easy fix. Um, and ultimately it's going to be what, what's going to be getting you back to their store to buy another glove, uh, in a year, year and a half. Cause all of a sudden, uh, you know, these laces are going to pop. And then I don't know how many gloves we've done relacing over the last couple of years, uh, because people have steamed their gloves. So uh, really not suggested. It's, it's like, you wouldn't want to take, if anybody's watching and they are, you know, uh, man or woman, you know, like uh, leather coat, uh, leather shoes, you wouldn't actually dunk them in water. And that's essentially what steaming is doing. I want to show you a glove and it's the same glove. I kid you not right here from close up bats. This, these are the same glove, um, and a glove that's broken in from close up bats and a glove that is broken in from a uh, unnamed sporting goods store. Uh, that uses a steamer and you'll see uh, obviously this glove is completely trash you could throw that uh, in the garbage we'll get rid of that we'll throw it off to the side and then we'll look at the glove that close up bats broken you'll see that's real nice ready to go um, I mean <laughs> that's going to be the trusted Mad Max break-in service and those are some of the things uh, what we do and what we don't do we don't use a machine which obviously would be a steamer uh, we would never suggest to use a steamer and uh, we pound the pocket use the breaking points and we get it to be about that point where you'll be able to have that nice warm-up catch. And then you could take it from there. And uh, you'll be really satisfied with the Mad Max breaking service here at Close Up Bats. And you guys can remember to always shop smart. And you could save big bucks.